I don't have to worry about it. I can move around and it's always in the same spot. But it feels it feels better to have some <laughs> feels better to have a big black object right here in my face. I got so used to that for like two years, two or three years of having this mic like like right up in in my grill. Okay. The one thing I'm going to want to look up is see if there's a way I can alter how the light works on this thing. Okay, I have Corvax casings and Vortex cubes. I need to sell, sell those. I can't... I guess I could use it from that side. Um... Wow, I- oh wait, there it is. Yeah. I expect those to be in alphabetical order, or in the order in which you discovered them, and they're not in either of those two orders. They seem to just be in random order. I'm so glad my voice actually sounds normal again. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna give you a casing. And then we'll ask for dialect help. Uh, friendship. Help. Get a technology symbol. Blueprint. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to go here. And I'm going to sell all of these. I don't know what's up with this dude, but like it gave me the option to die. So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna mess with that thing. Lost it all to units, trade something. Oh, uh, let's go with the trade symbol. Account. That could be very useful. Envoy, I already talked to that dude. Are you the Corvax I just talked to? I think so. Yeah. Okay, pretty much talked to everybody else. Anything going on over here? Hi, how, how are you? Thank you. I just stole your stuff. All right, we're good there. I want to travel from here uh, 
towards the galactic core. What is that? Oh. Iridium drive required. It seems to think I can go there. Oh no, that's the path I'm going. Sorry, I'm going backwards here. I wish there was like an up down left, uh, an up down in this thing. I have to back up, go up, come down. Wait, what is that? What is that? Why does it have a little thing on it? I, I don't know. Can I go there? There's only one planet here. Hmm. Okay, I'm here, and it's recommending that I go there. Out of jump range. Emerald drive required. I could go there. I could go there. I visited that, okay. How many planets are there? No, don't do that. I wanna I wanna look at this but up close. Two planets. Two planets, two moons. So four bodies. Hmm. I like how my initial few jumps were from the home system to elsewhere. They weren't actually in the right direction. Oh, that's out. I'm sorry. That. Uh, I guess we'll do it. Going to the station. Nobody else has warped more than me. Well, nobody on my friends list, at least. 
Don't tell them I'm, I don't have any friends. Hello? You're definitely a thing. Bunch of these dudes hanging out now. Hey, what's up, dude? All right, what's this gonna cost me? Fifty thousand units. That'll cost me 5,000. That'll cost me 500,000. Whoa. Whoa. Probably because they can... Uh, these slots have a higher max capacity. Hey, Baka, how are you? Just do that for now. Hopefully I sound a little better. Doing okay. I've I've got my new mic hooked up, which is awesome. Uh, let's go with the mystery symbol. He is perfect. Just what I was hoping for. Give me a... Give me a Corvax entity. Oh, wow. I like this dude's face. He appears envious of my multi-tool. Good. It's S quality. Uh, give me an aggression symbol. Pathetic. Fitting. Go Viking Gra. Well, this guy's an engineer. Give me a technology word. Gra Viking. I don't know what that means. Weapon. you. Help Viking? Rides the shoe buff? Give. Okay.
Oh, I've already talked to you. I've talked to you. Oh, here he is. I was like, there was a dude over here. Well, this guy's just an ensign. Journey. Also envious of my multi tool. Facility. Alright, everybody else. I've talked to everybody else, right? Hello? Not this guy. Seems fitting. All right, I think that's everybody. All right, what did I get a second ago? I'm an accomplice. Wow, I know a hundred Gek words. Awesome, and I know fourteen Viking and nine Corvax. Perfect. Rescue the freighters, attack ships remaining. Activated copper! <gasps> I don't know if these guys are strong or what, but... They seem thankful. Looks gratefully relieved. They gesture as to welcome me aboard their vessel. Okay. Well, I saved the, uh, I saved the freighter. Let's go see what he's got. Maybe he'll give me some money or something. Sorry. I crashed into the freighter.
celebrating our victory, I hope. They gestured to the control panel of the freighter as if to suggest I take command. Uh, inspect. Class B freighter. Wait, they're giving me the freighter? I accept. Owning a freighter brings several benefits, including a portable base, a very large inventory, and the ability to command fleets of frigates. Freighters offer extra inventory. Additional starships can be docked in the hangar. Command expeditions from the bridge. Construct a base aboard the freighter. What? I get a portable base? Plan and dispatch expeditions? And it's a Viking. So, who are you? Are you just the guy? You're like now the captain of the ship, but I own the, fr the freighter? The ship's former owner has visibly relaxed. They seem to revel in their unworried return to pure freighter captaincy. Ah, yes. The simple life of engines, route plotting, and cargo. I'm heartened the sail has not prompted them to immediately flee the vessel. Oh. Well, this is fucking cool. Yeah, now I actually have to learn Viking, right? So I can understand what the hell these guys are saying. Hey, buddy, what do you do? Uh, interloper captain. Our ship lacks a fleet command room. We cannot possibly dispatch expeditions in this state. Okay. Hi. The crew member seems to revel in the diversity of freighter living. They shift restlessly while the vessel is stationary, fingering their multi-tool, anticipating the next warp to a new system. So I could probably summon this freighter to wherever I am, kind of how I summon the anomaly, I would guess. So now I should explore the whole thing. So, like, I would build the base in here. I'm guessing. A Viking effigy. Oh, freighter parts. <gasps> what? Dude! Okay, what is this? Large freighter room. Large freighter room. Corridor. Command room. Oh my god. So, okay. So how big does this go? Is this, like, relatively endless? There was a blue icon in the control room. Manage fleet. Providence? That sounds badass.
Awaiting orders? Trade specialist. It's got a plus five to tr a plus fifteen to trading. Do I do I do anything with this? So can I? Okay, so it's just I I only have this one trade ship. What is the plus one? Plus, uh, industrial. I don't know what that means. Fuel requirements, 8 tons of fuel every 250 light years. I don't know anything about this. Freighter warp map. Freighter research terminal? Oh, frigate modules. Oh, I have a couple of these. What's what, what's your role? Plan and dispatch. Okay, that make that makes sense. I need to talk to the navigator. It says. Lacks a fleet command room. need to maintain communications during the voyage so it's gonna ask me to build a fleet commander construct a fleet commander okay It just labels it as a base now. Oh my god, this is so cool. Nope. So here's a question. Can I put the fleet command room here? Oh, I can. I can't put it there, but I could put it here. So as I'm coming off the bridge, I could put it off to the side. Yeah, let's put it there. Okay. Inspect the fleet commander. Master profile indicates one support frigate available. Profile indicates no frigate fuel blueprints available. Download? Yes. I know how to make frigate fuel. No expedition assigned. All right, so now I go back to this guy. Two hundred tons of frigate fuel. Uh, let's make a hundred tons. So then I would go. How do I put the fuel in the ship? Manage fleet. Okay. How do I give it fuel? I don't know how I do that. There is fle fresh glory available for the fleet. I have charted new expedition routes. View potential expeditions. What are, what do these do? 
Like, I get that it's a trade expedition. 58 minutes. Low difficulty rating. Oh. So there's a ship assigned. Fleet rating one star, difficulty one star. So the likelihood to succeed is high, or is good, I would guess, at least. Focus on trade. Temporary upgrades, okay. I guess? Speak with the fleet commander. Fleet command online. Calibrating to fleet commander Alu of the Pillar of Providence. Speak with the commander. Greetings, Interloper Captain. The expedition has covered 196 light years and is, our estimated plot route will take an additional 58 minutes. I don't know what this is going to do for me. Maybe there's a chance it's going to make me money? Making mo Oh, here we go. Making money. Command of a large capital ship offers several benefits. High among those is the ability to command a fleet of frigates. Find and purchase frigates, add them to your fleet, recruitable... Okay. Trade frigates will accumulate wealth. Science trigger frigates... Science vessels will provide scans to ancient artifacts. Supply ships will generate fuel. Mining vessels will collect materials. And combat ships will come to your aid to fight pirates. Okay. To buy a freighter, board it and speak with the captain. Saving a freighter from pirates will make it cheaper, or free in this case. Uh, when on a planet, summon your freighter to your current system with the quick menu. Players with freighters may own up to six starships. Purchase ships as they fly into your freighter's docking bay and store them on board. Freighters offer large inventories. Slots on the freighter can store large stacks, than, larger stacks than any other inventory type. Place storage containers for other inventory space. Okay, so trade frigates will accumulate wealth. So he's just going to go off and get me money. Well, shit. I don't, don't tell me how. Just get it done. Oh, and now that these ships are here, I can just go and offer to buy them, I guess. Like you, right? Sentinel Hunter. Starship unoccupied. Locate the, the pilot. Oh. Hello. Sell items. Buy items. Viking Dagger. Uh, make an offer on your ship. He wants... Okay, if we go negotiate price. He wants 5.8 million. Decline. Okay, cool. Is this the one with activated copper on it? 
Mm. We're getting activated. Now. Oh, high sentinel activity. Uh, you know what? I don't care. Incandescent moon? I don't know what incandescent means. Maybe it's very hot. That would make sense. Oh, I'm super lucky this time. This planet's got exactly what I needed. Show me how quickly I'm dying. That would be great. Oh, really fast. Activated copper. I'm going to die in one minute. I think I got a plated the other day. I forget which each one of them means, but... but... Obviously incandescent means really freaking hot! Yeah, I got I got one like that. I also got another one that was everything was like square bricks. Like all the trees, all the plants, all the animals, all the rock. It was all squares. It was interesting. like little bats up there.
Excellent. So this ship is 100% repaired. And I still have 172 activated copper. What does this say here? Copper is found on planets orbiting yellow stars and can be placed in a refiner to create purified chromatic metal. So you can't manufacture activated copper. It has to be mined. Gotcha. I should have left this on the frigate. I don't know what I'm going to do with 200 tons of frigate fuel. So I can put it in there for now. God, this is so good to have this now. Okay. It's not really not really useful to be carrying around frigate fuel when I'm not on a frigate. I can put it in the frigate storage. Okay. Let's go to my multi tool. Ooh, my f I can see my freighter from here. <gasps> Dude, imagine if I get one of those frigate teleporter things. Deuterium. Oh, I don't want to do ferrite dust. I want to do silicate powder. You have a freighter tab? Yeah, I saw it. It's just out of range. Wow, 575 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy crap. I don't want to know how fast I would die outside now. In a matter of seconds, probably. I'm gonna look something up real quick. While I'm waiting. I don't even know if it's possible, but my mic has a light on it, and I want to see if I can change when the light is on and off. Yeah, I would definitely pick it up when it's on sale. I know it goes on sale periodically. Nah, it looks like you can't change the light setting. Okay, that's fine. I'll just I'll learn to get uh I'll I'll learn to get used to it. It's not a problem. You have it marked in Steam? Yeah, I got it on uh I got it on GOG because it was on sale. A while back. It's, I don't think it's on sale right now, but at the time, I think it was on sale for like 30 bucks. There's a Carbet, there's a website. Uh, I need to. I'll send you a link for it, but there's a website that keeps track of the price of games on all the different. Um, on all the different. Uh, like. I don't know what you call them, storefronts? All the different stores. Uh, so if you're really interested in getting a particular game, you can go there and it'll tell you what store has it for the for the lowest price right then. And it covers, it does Steam and Origin and GOG and, you know, I'm sure it does all the other new ones that have come up in the last year or two. Epic. Yeah, I'll post it in Discord. It's it's a really good website. Yeah, I tend to I tend to prefer to buy things Is it G2A? Oh my god, no. 
Ew. G2A. Ugh. Do not use that website. Awesome at G. Obviously not sponsored by G2A. G2A is like game eBay. Like digital game eBay. It's 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 really shady because that's they do not have a problem with people going to their website and posting games for sale that they bought with stolen credit cards. Like, that's part of their thing. They're just like, we don't care where you got the license key for this game. You can sell it here, regardless. Yeah, it's, it's not really that you're going to get ripped off as a buyer. It's more like they don't care if, as a seller, they don't care if you're ripping off other people. I obviously haven't checked. That was a while back. I haven't checked to see if that has changed or anything because they were getting a lot of bad press about it, but... Um, I'm just not going to use their service. Activated copper. Unknown building. Buried technology. Activated copper. I'm going to get as much activated copper as I can from this node and then I'm definitely marking this uh, this system as activated copper since I can't manufacture this. It has to be mined. Yeah, I don't think EA is going to abandon Origin, but they're definitely not as reliant on it as they used to be, because they're bringing a lot of EA games to Steam and stuff. So, I think they're going to slowly start getting less and less asshole-ish about, th about things. They've made a lot of changes recently that makes, makes you think or at least makes it it makes me think that they're slowly trying to repair their bad image. Because I know they they get they got like worst gaming uh, developer, like world's worst gaming de uh, publisher, like five or six years in a row. Yeah, they, well they have a new CEO now. I know that.
yeah, it was a it was a long time. They were winning it every year. Similar to you play, yeah. Honestly, it's not that bad. Like I don't like I'm I'm like everybody else. I don't like all those storefronts that are that are being made by every single game company out there. Um but you know, I'm not going to not play a game because it's on a different storefront that I just happen to not like. It's spiting what's that called? Um Cut off your nose to spite your face. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Don't get me wrong, if the game is available elsewhere, I'll get it somewhere else. But I mean, there's certain games that you're just only ever gonna find in one place for a while. You know, a new if if they release a Mass Effect, Mass Effect remaster, and they say it's going to be on Origin for the first year, well then I'm buying it on Origin. 